it's Caitlin, and <clears throat> I have big mystery box here today, and it was expensive to ship. Holy crap. I just now noticed that. <laughs> 20 bucks to ship this thing, damn. Um, but this is the mystery box from Forever Freaky Funko. If you guys follow him, you know he's getting out of the Funko game, so apparently Forever is not a Forever Freaky Funko. <laughs> but but uh, he's cho chosen to kind of just stay away from collecting and focus on uh his own life his spirituality which i fully support if you don't want to be in i mean i know some people are bummed about it because they enjoyed watching his videos uh and so did i but um you know collecting doesn't define your life you can't be too upset about someone who's wanting to live their life you know but anyway so he's decided to get rid of his collection via mystery boxes so this one was his first one and it was 70 dollars shipped uh 60 and then uh, plus 10 and you're guaranteed value so $60 uh, in value back and uh, I go by Funko app just because it's easier to scan and look up uh, so that's the prices you're gonna see when I edit this but um, the top pool was a set of bleach pops they didn't make a lot of bleach ones now I don't watch anime very often uh, and I've never watched bleach but who knows I might Go ahead and find it and it might be a uh, cool Christmas gifts or something. But before I do that, I <laughs> had to edit because I flipped it the wrong way and I gave them my real address. Uh, my like home address for this one. But this is from McDorks. So they uh, asked me for my email or email. My address to send me some stickers. They sent a whole bunch out to the community. So this is Awesome, I will leave a link to uh, Michael and Christian McDorks in the uh, description box below. Ooh, they made, I could see some of this stuff through the envelope, but I didn't see how much this Halloween confetti. So there's like spiders and pumpkins and spider webs. Honestly, I'm going to get a little baggy. And scoop all of these up and save them for next year because I can use these in resin pieces. <laughs> Just these little bitty. You can be surprised how useful this kind of stuff can be in resin pieces. No joke. But yeah, we got little jack o' lanterns, and I guess these are supposed to be like almost Black Widow spiders and then spider webs. So thank you so much for that. And then we got all their stickers. <laughs> so this is their normal logo with a spider sticking to it so, michael and christian mcdorks and then here is their halloween one where they're dressed as uh ghostbusters awesome who are you gonna watch mcdorks mcdorks pop and then stay darky oh uh, that's really cool i absolutely love that so all those are going to be going on the desk pretty soon i think after i get the top pour part filled up instead of overlapping like I was planning I'm just gonna go all around the desk and like on the legs of the desk and stuff stuff first and I'll try to be better about posting updates of what the desk looks like but yeah let me put these confettis back in the envelope so I don't lose them okay so thank you Michael and Christian for that again guys I'll leave a link to their uh, channel in the description box below I think they go live every Monday night uh, about the same time as uh, Cody does, so I tend to sort of just flip flop between the two. So, anyway, let's get this big guy open. And you guys can check out uh, Forever Freaky Funko's uh, sales and stuff. I know he's trying to unload his uh, soda figures, was the last thing he posted, I believe on his Instagram. Okay, he's not pretty much do not really doing anything with his YouTube anymore. Uh it's all gonna be on his Instagram. So let's check this out. Okay. Looks like everything's in sorters. Oh, I got my first soda. <laughs> I didn't realize I was gonna get a soda. So anyway, so it's got a little thank you card. Thank you for your per purchase. Thank you for purchasing a mystery box. I threw in some other items as well. Hope you enjoy. I will be live on whatnot on 
October 14th, so that's a done pass, <laughs> at 3 p.m. October 14th was my mom's birthday, so <laughs> that's done pass, because I'm filming this, what is it, the 30th? So actually, let's go with the soda first. So I don't think the bleach is it. There are three pops in here, and I see something else that's Batman related that I'm excited for. But, oh my god! Okay, I've spoken to Anthony before. In fact, he was my first trade, but we don't know each other that well. Um, but holy crap, if there was one soda I would want, it's the Wonder Woman one. Yes, I wanted this just for the can, but honestly, guys, I don't like the look of the sodas. I'm sorry. I know a lot of people love them. I just don't. Um, so I wasn't really planning on buying any, but I'll take it this away. I'm actually very happy about this. <laughs> so let's go ahead and open this. Again, this is my first one. It's already open because it came out of his collection, so I assume. Yeah, this is the regular one. And by the way, the one thing, another thing I don't like about this... On the Chase version, Funko calls it Retro Wonder Woman. It's not retro. That look is from Wonder Woman uh, New 52. And that's her... That was in 2011. Not even a decade yet. So I don't really call that retro. But anyway. Oh, this was neat. Again, not my favorite thing by Funko. But it's something to add to my Wonder Woman set. I'm happy. <laughs> I am very, very happy. I don't know if you, like, researched a little bit with who was ordering these. Because, again, the other thing down here is... I see Robin. I just see Robin's name. Uh, so that is awesome. Awesome, awesome. This is cool. So, I'll honestly, I'll probably just po put it back in here. I'll probably put the bubble wrap back around her. Hang on. I'll leave it, her out for a minute until the end of the video. But I'll probably just put her back in... And just display it with the soda can facing on the desk because I think this is prettier than that. <laughs> Again, no offense to everyone who loves soda. I know there's so many soda fans out here. Now, I'm just not one of them. Oh, now I see what this is. This is the pin. That's cool. So I only have the Wonder Woman pin. I don't have any of the other uh, DC pins. So this is Robin. Still in the package. Cool. So let's bust him out of here. <clears throat> I'll probably go ahead and keep this one. The Wonder Woman one isn't. The Wonder Woman one is no longer in the box. But, let me go ahead, take it out. For now, I don't know if I'll be putting it back in or not. Oh, I guess I can show you guys the box first. <laughs> but, I know there's supposed to be um, Golden Girl ones coming out soon. I really want the Chase, the Rose Gold Chase of Rose Island. I mean, come on, that's genius. Props to Funko for going there. But the pins are really cool. But it's just not something I need all of them of. I just wanted the Wonder Woman. And most of the places where you're ordering these things from, it's more like blind. Like you can't say, I want Wonder Woman, I want Robin. I had to go through a company, I had to find a company that would just let me buy the Wonder Woman. Uh, I think it was popping off the walls, but I'm not sure. But there is Retro Robin. This one is actually is more Retro Robin. Not the first Robin, but close enough. So this is based off the original Robin Pop, which is cool. And if you guys have never seen these, it comes with a little stand like a picture frame. So you can put display it. But there are three actual pins if you do want to use it as a pin. But this is heavy. <laughs> I wouldn't really want to put this on a jacket or something. But that is really neat. Thank you, Anthony. That is awesome little add-ins. Perfect for me. <clears throat> so let's get this back together and then we'll open up some pops. Am I going to get lucky enough that they're DC pops? Let's find out. So let me move that into the trash. But there are three pops all in sorters. So, <clears throat> okay, it's one, it's one of these ones that GameStop likes to use, so. Oh, Queen of Hearts. Okay, I already have this pop, but this is awesome. I think it actually, there was a point where this was a pretty high price pop. I don't know if that's still true. Um, but this is really good, and I got it um, after my channel. So I never reviewed it, so let's go ahead and take her out. 
<clears throat> or should I say them out? Because she comes. So this is the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland. She comes with one of the little gopher things that she uses for croquet. I still have crap on this desk from Tylock's live streams. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so here is the Queen of Hearts from Disney's Alice in Wonderland. And you can see she's got one of those little birds that she uses for a club. This is cool. Definitely one of the biggest, like, attitudes in Disney <laughs> was the Queen of Hearts. And obviously with that dress, she stands perfectly fine. And here is the little croquet ball dude. So, really very cute. And this is a Hot Topic exclusive. <clears throat> and it looked like it was in mint condition. I didn't look super much. I'm going to leave them out just for the rest of the video. And just put the boxes in the floor. But uh, I need to get better about checking for boxes. Sometimes I remember, sometimes I don't. But yeah, the box seems to be in really good condition. So that's awesome. So I did not get the bleach uh, set. But... So I'm happy, honestly, with the soda and the pen. Okay, so, yeah, this is another one of those. Spider-Man. Okay, Walmart exclusive. Venomized Spider-Man, okay. <clears throat> I don't know that much about Spider-Man, guys. I've told you this before. Or <laughs> Marvel in general, really. But this is a really sick-looking pop. Okay, so there's one small little crease at the top. I don't know if you guys can tell. Not that bad, though. Let's go ahead and take this out. So, again, this is a Walmart exclusive. And I don't see... Well, there's a rip right here. Mini, mini, mini rip. Right there on the O on the Venomize. But uh, let's go ahead and take this out. I don't even remember this pop. But it might be because my Walmarts are crap. When it comes to getting in good pops. They stuck this pop in here good. Holy crap. I'm trying to get it without bending any of the little tentacle things. <clears throat> but there, oh, I love this sculpt. Holy crap. So here is Venomized Spider Man. This looks cool with the little stuff spreading out. That's really neat. I'm sure this was in a comic book at some point. <laughs> I had two people tell me about the uh, six-armed Spider-Man uh, in my Candyman Rip uh, mystery box video. So I'm sure someone will tell me about this one too. Was it all one big storyline with all the Venomized characters? Or did Funko make some of them up? That's my question. But <clears throat> this looks sick. There's a little bit of paint mess-ups on the logo part on the spider. But other than that... This looks sick. I don't know if I'll keep it in my collection or not. I'm honestly thinking about starting my own mystery boxes uh, in like November, December. Uh, so that might be a good candidate for that. As well as the Queen of Hearts because again, I already have her somewhere. I thought I had her out like facing and not buried underneath others. But I probably have her buried in the back. So <laughs> that's the only bad thing about Fobs. They're so little. They... <laughs> It's just too much of an opportunity to put some of them in the back. Alright, last one. Come on. Come on, the other two came out fine. Okay. <laughs> okay, Hot Topic exclusive. Okay, Murder Machine Batman. I also have this one, and I'm sure this one's not going to be worth too much. This one I am going to keep in box, guys, because I have reviewed this on my channel before. This is one that uh, Fritzy let me buy off of him. So, I did get a DC pop, though. So, hey. But uh, I'm sure this one's not going to be worth too much because this is another uh, Chase Roulette pop that people use. So, pretty good, though. This is the Cyborg uh, version of Evil Batman. So, pretty damn cool. Just not the Chase chase version which who cares this is awesome so <clears throat> i am very happy 
honestly, again, I mean, <clears throat> I already have, my, my favorite pop that came out here is definitely the Queen of Hearts, but again, I already have her. I'm going to have to check box condition, because I honestly don't know if the box that mine's in is in better or worse shape uh, than this one, because this one's near mint, um, so I'll have to check that. And again, if there was one soda figure I wanted, it's definitely the Wonder Woman one, just for the can. <laughs> in fact, I think I was talking about uh, the Waylon in the comments. I said the cans are cooler than the actual figure, uh, and he agreed. But we're <laughs> but yeah, Waylon and I aren't that big of a fans of soda. Um, but again, this is really freaking cool. And also, I didn't really talk about it. I was born in 93, so I, the, the Pog thing was kind of before my time. It was while I was alive, but it was before my time. Okay, it, it was some sort of game, right? Like, Pog was some kind of game. But I want to know, for the people who actually had these things, did you guys play them, or did you just collect them like I do Pokemon cards? Because <laughs> I don't know how to play Pokemon. I do not know how to play the Pokemon TCG, but I, well, I don't really collect anymore. But I have collected on and off throughout my life with Pokemon cards. So, let me know. Was this something like that, or was it like an actual game that you played as a kid? So, I'm just curious. But anyway, <clears throat> love these two, honestly. Uh, love the Queen of Hearts. I don't know how much this is worth. Again, I know Queen of Hearts was worth something at one point, and this was all supposed to be $60. I don't know if that includes the soda and the pin, probably. But, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and put all the prices up. Well, you guys have already seen them. But, anyway, uh, let's get the nice side facing. But, uh, I think this is awesome. It's sad that, you know, a channel is closing, especially one that's been around for a while. But, again, you can't, you can't be mad at someone for choosing to live their life in the best way they know how. Uh, for collecting is a hobby. For some people, it's more than that. It's a connection. But for others, it's just get, it, it gets tiring. And I understand it. Um, it's not something that I'm in danger of <laughs> ever doing, I don't think. Or at least not soon. But, uh, yeah, I, am, I, I support Anthony. I really do. Uh, you can't you can't be mad at someone for choosing to live their life the way that they feel like they need to. Um, <clears throat> so I totally support him. If I remember, I will leave his Instagram in the description box below, along with Mick Dorps, if I can get their main sticker out from underneath the, <laughs> the thing. I will leave a link to Michael and Christian's channel as well in the description box below. Definitely go check them out. They are awesome members of the community, awesome friends, and they have a huge love for Disney, uh, so if you guys like anything Disney, definitely go check them out. But yeah, guys, this is my Forever Freak Funko mystery box, and I think I scored. I don't know the value yet, but I, I honestly think I scored. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys got one for Anthony and what you guys got, because um, he's being very generous, because I thought I was only going to get three pops, and I got two bonuses, so that was really freaking cool. So, thank you all so much for watching. Again, let me know what you guys think. And remember guys, like always, it's a community and not a competition. I'll see y'all later. Bye.